Ah, you smell that, Rim Rims? That is the smell of a fresh new day in our journey to the Arco Nexus. Before we begin our journey today, I have made a very slight change to things based on some feedback. I've seen this comment quite frequently recently. People have been asking me to increase the UI size, which I think is a fairly good idea, given that it means if you're watching on mobile, it'll be easier to see if you're watching far away on a TV or something. You might be able to make things out a little bit better. So I've cranked it to 1.25 times. If you don't like this, let me know and I'll turn it off ready for tomorrow. But overall, it should make it so you can see things a lot more clearly on the screen. UI elements, messages, things that are normally kind of small that I feel like I should zoom in on in the edit. If it is super distracting or takes up too much screen space, we'll scrap it and we'll move on. Now, my goal for today is finally completing the study of our... Arco Artifact, the major architect structure. Now, I saw a little bit of confusion with this in the comment section yesterday. We have to do this alongside building the 350,000 colony wealth and selling our base. We will also need alliance with the Southwest Essen Terrera as well, so we'll just do the standard drop pod tactic. But I wanted to cement what we're actually going to do with our base this time around. Last time, we accrued the 350,000 wealth from Copious unthinkable amounts of drugs. And this time, I think we've got a very simple way forward. That being a freezer full of corpses. And who doesn't love a freezer full of corpses? From these people, there is so much we can do. Not only can we sell the organs from our immortal celestials languishing away in our sewage dump slash prison, but we could take organs from the survivors from raids. We can butcher them for tasty meals and their human leather. They also now drop the humanoid brains. And what I didn't realize until I checked earlier is that the humanoid brains are worth 120 apiece. Every single person, except for some of you in the comment section, will have those. The human leather is worth $420, of course it is. And that's dropped by pretty much everything as well. So one person just simply butchering them will yield a massive amount of profits. Forget about low-tier organ harvesting. We can sell the very minds of our enemies. Or in this case, we'll just stockpile them and then trade that away. Because, of course, by selling them, we lose a little bit of money. I'm also starting to think I might have made a little fucky-wucky with my approach to this as well. When we started this second base, we bought five extremely powerful people, along with five very expensive animals. As a result, our starting wealth was gigantic. And we've quickly built our way up to very close to our goal already. We're already up to 247,000 wealth. And trying to run a colony of that size with the difficulty of potentially Igor and Perry popping up with five people is a fucking terrible idea, especially when we've got Otto doing the building, the butchering, the cooking, and the research. And then there's Queen Starlight. Poor, sweet, merciless Starlight herself, who yesterday had both of her limbs blown off. And by both of her limbs, I obviously mean her legs. I asked you in the comments, what should we do with her? Because she has failed not once, but twice now. Both times during yesterday's episode, and both times in quick succession. And comment section, I will admit you were far more merciful than I would have been. Everybody is saying she deserves a second chance, but she should earn that back. So here's the plan. For the time being, we're going to throw her two very basic, boring old peg legs. And then, I think we should name somebody else Queen. Once Starlight is back upon her feet, or back upon her pegs, we should hold a gladiator ceremony. Now, granted, the gladiator duel in the base game you can only do with prisoners or slaves, we will have Starlight fight with fists only the person we name Queen. And I think out of all these people, there is one already wearing a crown. There is one who has been by Jilpside since the start. Someone far more deserving of this title. That is Poopy. Poopy has put an incredible work around this colony. She's basically patched everybody up multiple times. Without her, Starlight would have been dead a long, long time ago. So, we shall name you Queen. Starlight has been reduced down to a regular plain old colonist. And if you want that title back, Starlight, you're going to have to do it the same way you got it from Jilp the first time. Cold, hard combat. Except hopefully this time they won't bite each other's brains out. Now the first thing on the short term to-do list is butcher all of these people. This is an incredible amount of profit that we've just got lying around waiting for somebody to come and take it. Now because we've got a huge amount to do here with Paul and Lotto, I'm going to give them the electric butcher's table and a couple of tool cabinets to speed this up. And why don't we also throw down a couple of meat hooks as well? And maybe even expand the freezer? Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. I think I might also shrink down the farm a little bit given that we've... Well, we've already got an abundance of food. If we're going to optimize what we've got, we're going to have to go slightly larger brain with our meals. And larger brain might actually be 
uh, the operative word. Let's get rid of everything. And let's do this from scratch. I want to throw in simple meals, which we're going to cook probably slightly less because Otto is a very busy man. And in these simple meals, we are only going to allow human meat. The big problem with cannibals... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, except for the fact they're fucking cannibals. The big problem with the cannibals isn't so much their need to eat human meat. It's when they don't eat human meat, they get really pissed off. So if we just have very basic meals made out of human meat, hey, that's great. It means that we're not getting the negative. Who cares that we're not getting the positive from the lavish meals? We can essentially give them a mood boost. It's, it's a net mood boost when you consider what we're cancelling out with half the work that it would take for a lavish meal and way less resources. The best scenario would be the finest sweetest most gourmet human meals made out of well humans but that would also take hours if we're able to get a dedicated chef i would like to do that because one thing that we haven't really done this time around is well focus on the cannibalism aspect of things it's one of our core memes and really all we've done is just kind of have a bit of an occasional human snack but we're going all in it's either we eat human meat or we eat fucking nothing a sickly child oh it's a shitty goblin are you any good no? Unhygienic, insatiable, and abrasive. Wow, I should send this guy an invite to my Discord. He'd fit right in. I'm going to take you on board. Why not? Why not? Join us. Are you independent? Oh, a goblin of the compact of Algorn. <sighs> Is it really worth capturing, converting, and recruiting? So I, I want them for the intellectual. Because Otto's never going to have time to do it. There. At long last, Poopy... No face poopy can stop complaining. Holy crap. She went from like minor breakpoint to maximum possible mood. <laughs> oh, look at this. Human leather backpacks, transhumanist, venerated polar bear, Arcus style surroundings, ate human meat. They're sad because we haven't had an execution. They're also sad because none of them have had the age reversal for a long time. I'm going to be clear. I'm never going to give them age reversal. The neural supercharges though are a very good point. Four components piece. Okay, well, look, we haven't got a fabrication bench, so that's not going to happen. A geologist named McDole. McDole, hello. 13 mining, intellectual, nine double passionate. Well, you're better than that shitty little goblin. And this is where I think I've been going wrong with my approach to the Arco Nexus goal. I was trying to play far too tall with five people. But when a single stray bullet can randomly cause you to die immediately anyway... It's a poor idea. Not to mention that no matter how much you get someone upgraded, they're not going to be able to make up for a whole other person doing the job at a mediocre level. And if Jessica manages to recruit both of these people, she's earned a name in this colony. She won't have supplanted Loneth. Yet. Oh, God. Okay. Hello. Man hunting hermit crabs. <laughs> They've come for our house. Shit. Uh, they actually going to be able to figure out how to get here? Oh, yeah, look, they're working it out. A bear trap against a hermit crab is almost unfair. Oh. What the hell are these things made of? I worry that they might be a little hard to hit. We should be fine. There's only a bunch of crabs. Well, that wasn't too bad. I'll happily take more of those raids if you're offering. Well, despite the blood splatters suggesting otherwise, Starlight is fully healed. Therefore... It's time. Under the watchful Arco eye, Starlight and Poopy will fight for supremacy. For the leadership of this colony. The last one standing gets the title of Queen. On three. One. Two. Three. Oh god. Starlight's off to an incredible start. Poopy is getting utterly battered. Oh, but of retaliation. Could this be the comeback for Poopy that she's needed? A miss there. A stun from Poopy. Put Starlight on the back foot a little bit. Taking back an advantage from Poopy there. Oh! And a victory. A well-earned victory too. Very well. They have fought beneath the great Arco Eye. And one remains standing. Retake your title. As Queen Apparent. Starlight did have a somewhat inherent advantage, given that she's got skin made of stone and two bionic arms, whereas Poopy only has a field hand. A uh, field hand along with her bionic arm, that is. But Poopy did some hefty damage there. 51% versus 33. It was very, very, very close. Wow. That was great. And to add insult to injury, Jessica is stealing her dinner. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. 
everybody in our prison is immortal. If we have a public execution, and execute, oh, I don't know, Scussy for marketing, surely he'll just immediately come back to life and we get the free mood boost? Before we do that, though, this place needs a serious tidy. To say it's our holy building, it is a fucking dump. Let's throw down a couple of bins. And honestly, a nicer floor wouldn't go amiss, but we already don't have the resources for it. Marble blocks, limestone chunks. Well, let's up stone cutting then. Now, I don't know why, and I can't explain it, but both of Starlight's guns have disappeared. They are not smelted here because they're specifically set up not to smelt any charge weapons, unsurprisingly. If we go charge... Charge miniguns are off the menu. I definitely haven't sold them. And we have the mod, where's my weapon? She's supposed to immediately go and get it re-equipped. Ah, well, there's one of them. Where the hell's the other one gone? We gave it to one of the Empire Cataphracts, but they both... Well, actually, all three of them went down, so they wouldn't have had it equipped. We could. We could give her the Arcotech shield belt and make her a melee character with Promise Crusher. That would be a hell of a plot twist. She's, she's all right in melee as well. 10.31 single passion. Oh, but she does have 16 shooting double passion, though. The Arcotech shield belt doesn't work for ranged weapons either. Travelers request aid, do they now? Are they particularly tasty? They're begging for 130 herbal medicine. Hmm. I do feel a bit sorry for them, and we can spare the... Oops. <laughs> Oops, my bad. I must have misclicked. Come to my fucking base asking for free stuff. I need to work out the cost each person is worth, assuming an average yet leather yield. So, from one person, it's safe to assume we get one brain. What was that? 48 and 22 left over. That was 49 human leather from that person. Obviously, that's going to vary depending on the amount of damage they've taken, how many body parts they've got. Now, how much human meat can we expect from these people? Let's just see what this guy drops. And that was 74 meat from that goblin. So we're looking at about 205 silver for the leather, 60 silver for the meat, and 120 per brain for a total of about 385 Per person. Again, depending on the amount of body parts they've got, the body size. And if we only have 100,000 wealth remaining, that means we only need to butcher about 260 people. To be honest, and I almost don't want to say it, all that would require is about one run on Igor Invader, and we would probably get the money we need. Arcadius, what a gift! Just when I was saying how much we were out of components. I guess neural superchargers are back on the menu. What is going on with these double events? Psychic Soothe and a Solar Flare kicking in. Makes me wonder if there's some mechanic with this that I haven't picked up on yet. Maybe it's base game run mode. Maybe I've just never noticed before. <laughs> Holy crap, that is so much better. Granted, it probably won't last very long at the rate we're butchering people, but you know. And there's another way we can up the profits too. If we convert that human leather into, say, some fancy clothing? Human leather Ravager armor? Human leather boots? We could become a cobbler. It's all well and good just sitting on a massive amount of wealth based on human suffering, but I feel like there should be a little bit of artistry to it. <laughs> Here's an idea. What if we make the finest gentleman's clothing out of gentlemen? A female supremacy colony making clothing for high-ranking men out of other men. It seems very on brand. As much as I love to make the great dress out of leather, unfortunately, it only takes... Textiles. Ah, what about like a sombrero made of human leather? Yeah, that seems pretty good. And then a nice cape and a nice robe. Okay, this is good. Fine clothing. Granted, if we're doing that, though, we probably do want to throw down a couple of tailoring cabinets, too. Let me move these batteries over. Let's put them... Let's put them slightly less flammable areas. Then I'm going to throw down another hex here for... Neural superchargers, given that I think we can probably do it at this stage. Oh, McDole. Well, oh, his brain is destroyed. Damn, I hope that doesn't prevent him regenerating. Ah, oh, and in other good news, Scott's organs have regrown. Thanks, Scott. You're so generous. Oh, don't take don't take the left lung twice. It doesn't make any sense. What about you? Are oh, you good as well? Ah. Oh. oh, wait, hang on. McDoll was one of the people I wanted to recruit. Oh, you fuck. Jessica. <sighs> now I'm going to have to turn McDoll into a tasty snack. Congratulations, shitty goblin. I guess you're the only recruit we're getting today. Oh, boy, that's going to get really annoying quite fast. I mean, look, it's not the most elegant solution, but it's the only way we can do it without spending hours and hours every day actually melting them down. Now, how is the power grid looking before we begin neural supercharging? Grid excess of 20,000 watts, more or less. I think we can probably afford one or two of these things. I mean, we only need, we only need five anyway, right? Oh, poor Scotty from marketing. 
His certainty with his belief in the great Archaeopastafarianism has been reduced to 18% because he ate human meat. Oh, maybe one of you three will be a good chef. Hello. Animals 9, no thank you. Medical 16 double passion is very good, but incapable of combat. And then finally, Fast Walker Misandris Greedy. Again, no combat skills. Ah, oh, what a terrible day to be a wild man. Ah, oh, there we go. The human leather clothes shop is open for business. I assume they don't have a lower value or anything like that because they're made of human leather. Uh, 305. How much goes into each cloak, though? Well, each one is 55 leather, and it's $4.20 per human leather. So we turned a nice profit on that. Oh, and before I forget, let's turn on a bloody comms console before we run out of components. Ah, I really want to do some of the rituals, but the room is still pretty terrible. I, again, playing with a small amount of people is going to make it quite tough. Well, I guess we'll start swapping on the... Ah, oh, mosaic tiles. Oh! How have I never seen these before? We could go hex tiles for the Arco look, but that would be... I mean, how much would it be for that entire room? Probably very expensive. 3,000. We could do it? Wait, really? How much steel have we got? Wow, that would leave us actually a lot of steel left over. Have we hauled all the steel in from the map, though? Oh, I don't want that to be everything used on, on just that. Yeah, see, that's everything from the map mined up and hauled over. Ah, oh, I could be persuaded. Oh, that's a good trader. Please have advanced components. Well, actually, at this point, please have regular components. Jessica, let's go have a chat. Let's also make you a social and... What does you got that intellectual, right? Well, let's go social primary. She needs a name because she's ended up being a very valuable member, even if just temporarily. Is that a... Oh, no more crabs. Please, God. Oh, the fiddler crab, eh, madam? Three advanced components. Oh, that's quite nice. They've got jump packs too. I'll trade you a bunch of brains. What do you think about that one? I mean, it's going to cut into our colony wealth again because we're losing a little bit for the exchange rate, but I'm all right with that. When we're trading it for stuff that's going to help out, I don't think that's a problem. Now, the architect's job, to be completely honest with you, is a bit pointless because it's melee only. Pheromone secreta gives us 25% social impact. All right, uh, here's the plan then. Fuck that. You give me the pheromone secreta. I give you human brains. Jessica gets the pheromone secreta. And the trade caravan walks away. Damn it. Wasn't expecting her to take that long to recover, to be honest. Ah! Malnutrition? Oh. Well, I mean, they could just eat the smoke leaves. Now, we've only got hospital beds left. I think it's time that Otto retakes his title as automatic. The last shotgun was biocoded, so unfortunately, wasn't much we could do with that. Oh, now that is exactly what I wanted to get us to the Arco Nexus. Human leather sombrero masterwork. It's only worth 280. Well, we need quite a few of those to get there, unfortunately. Oh, now of all the ways Starlight could prove herself back to the outside world rather than just our own colonists. Sure, it's not that far away, I suppose. How long will it take to get there? 2.3 days. 3.5 days of food. 1.6 days travel time, assuming she rides there on an elephant. However, that will also leave our base incredibly undefended. But I couldn't think of a more perfect redemption arc for her. And after a long and treacherous journey... We've arrived at something. Oh. Oh, this is cool. I think I've ever visited one of these before. Whoa. Bergeson. Hello. Are you uh, a special type of Viking? A regular plain old Viking, huh? Well, that is a terrible shame. Plain old regular Viking. Because you're up against a very much not plain old regular Starlight. What's he doing? Huh. Ha <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be completely honest with you. I had no idea what to expect. Uh, that almost certainly was not it. Ah, oh, we've got a couple of uh, graves, though. Okay, a little bit of gold there, too. That's quite nice. Let's crack it open. Maybe something, whatever comes out of here might be a bit more dangerous. Hello? <gasps> Whoa, Rolf. Rolf, what have you got? Crypto helmet, crypto armor, crypto shield, crypto hatchet. Get some distance, get some distance, get some distance. Starlight. Starlight. Starlight the most is not... Oh my god. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, equip the gun. Get out of there. She's just... She's like stuck. She's stuck in place. These crypto hatchets freeze you, don't they? That's the point. Cryogenic coating on the blade. Targets struck by them without proper insulation may feel themselves become crippled with hypothermia. Okay. She's already shivering. 
Maybe get some distance and then start blasting. Go. Kill him. Okay, okay. Ready? Ready? Oh, Starlight! We need to get a bit more distance. Nice. Well, that crypto armor is absolutely going to keep him alive. Let's go out the front door. Give me your Brazzle Dazzle. Loop back around. Okay, this is the epic fight I was hoping to redeem her with. Nice. And coffin number two. Oh my god, it's another one. Gasa Monkey Slayer. His name is fucking what? Monkey Slayer. We could be friends. Has he got the same stuff? Dual crypto hatchets. Okay, okay, okay. That means he's going to swing twice as much. Oh, or he'll run away. Where are you going? Blow him away. Blow him away. I was really hoping she wouldn't kill him so we could get the armor. Will she be upset by tainted gear, though? Because that would be a hell of a thing to turn back up to the base with, wouldn't it? Oh, tainted crypto armor. Yeah, it's a minus 10. Oh, that's a shame. All right, never mind. Well, I suppose if nothing else, we did get a shitload of gold and an advanced component. Though I will admit, it wasn't really worth the journey. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> so Yeo has been on a roll recently releasing some uh, very impressive animation mods. One of them is Yeo's Caravan. Uh, doesn't really seem to work too well on a small planet though, huh? Oh, well, I mean, that's not too bad. Oh, it's got an assault in it. Oh, it's got two? I give up. <laughs> oh, Starlight's back already. What the hell? I didn't even notice. Well, she decided to put on the crypto hatchet as a sidearm, and I'll be honest... I can't really complain. It's kind of a cool thing to bring back proof of her leadership again. Oh, a crown broke. Then we will craft her a new one. Bear in mind, our ideology no longer demands the pain crown for the leader. So we could really give her anything at this stage. What would be on brand with what we've got going on? Ah, 17 medical there for Poopy. Scott, you've been a massive help to making our characters even better than they were before. I've looked through all the helmets and I've got to be honest... I think the spiked crown that Poopy is wearing is way better. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll accept that. And then eventually we'll try and give Poopy a regular old helmet. For now, we'll just go and give her a Ravager helm. Well, you know, close enough. A marine helmet versus the marine helmet you ordered from Wish. Oh my god, at long last. Not the flu, that is. <laughs> I wasn't waiting for a flu. We finally converted the shitty little goblin after all this time. I've had Lanath training up in social as well, which is definitely cutting to the speed at which we're recruiting. I'm not convinced we're going to take Jessica along for the ride. We're going to take five of them. I'm not going to replace any of these people with Jessica yet. So it might be the case of taking away the pheromone secreta and eventually giving that to Lanath instead. She does only have six social, but it wouldn't take too long to train her up, right? And now we very, very carefully take out these mechanoids. Uh, shoot that. Carefully, though. Oh, God, I hate you. Nice. And now, run like fuck. Everyone else, back her up. Starlight. Oh, she's done it. She's taken them all out. Please be careful. Please be careful. You're, you're, you're shooting Starlight, though. You, you're actually shooting Starlight. Just to clarify. God, these people are shit. <laughs> Jessica. Jessica, where are your clothes, Jessica? Jessica, why are you naked? Uh, You know what? Just keep backing off. Fuck it. Let's just keep backing off. Straight line, run and gun, all in. It's only a couple of scythers. God, those assaults are tanky. Okay, you've gone too far now. This is why I do it bit by bit. Who will win? Five heavily armored warriors or two fancy mechanoids? I'll be honest, I'm not liking our odds. Uh, Starlight, maybe get behind some cover. You too, because you're not wearing any clothes. We need to spread out a little bit more. They are so fucking tanky. This is actually unbelievable. Kill. Kill the fucking thing. Please just kill it. My god. Oh. Well, hello, Pikeman. Uh, get that axe. Let's put it to some good use. Don't get yourself killed, though. That would not be ideal. Yes. Die. Well, that's pathetic. <laughs> Starlight, have I ever told you how shit you are? That was the worst thing I've ever seen. Ooh, slave ship. Um, we could buy some new 
colonists, I suppose. Right now, I'm frantically strip mining almost the entire map in the hopes that we get a single component. We found a little vein of them down here, but other than that, we're pretty much fucked. Got any mining sites out here on the map? Logging camp, logging camp. Oh, well, that doesn't really count as nearby. Oh, do they just do it by proximity to the base rather than the amount of days it would take to caravan over there? Uh... See, I've really got to disagree with that. You genuinely can take a boat over the... Over the water. Ocean plus one. Flat. 4.5. Huh. <laughs> Suppose we can afford it. Oh, Scotty. Oh, it's the goblin. Don't kill it. Don't kill it, Jessica. Jessica, I'm trusting you. Do not kill the goblin. He's just walking right out. Why do we use the same key for four prison doors? That is a security issue through and through. Do not touch my cooler, you little shitty goblin. Don't kill it. I beg you, do not kill it. We need new recruits. Okay. Oh, oh it's almost time for the slaughter of Jilp. Now look, we fully upgraded this place since the last time we were able to do it. We have statues. We have giant pieces of artwork, finest textiles money can buy, thousands and thousands of steel, and more importantly, we've got bins. This better be high quality. 84%. Ooh. All right. You may have the slaughter of Jilp. Wow, they really do just sit there and eat for hours and hours and hours, huh? Please tell me it gives eight without a table debuff, please. That would be so, so good. Ah, that sounds promising. A fun slaughter of Jilp. Ah, plus five mood for six days. Fantastic. Eight without a table. Nothing. Oh, oh, it did what? Oh, that's so fucking good. Oh, I'm, I'm so happy about that. And we got some ship chunks. Oh, no more scrounging for components. There we go. I mean, it's not many, but it's a start. And my friends, with that, we have completed our major study. Do we have to do it again? Oh, no, completed. Yeah, we're actually good. You've completed your study of the major architect structure. You can't say that you understand it in any complete way, but you have detected patterns in its behavior and the way it seems to express information. With this knowledge, we'll be able to interpret the next piece of the Arco Nexus map. And on the subject of the Arco Nexus map, we are only 80,000 wealth off of being able to sell our current Arco base and moving on to a new one. Well, rather tragically, while we were away with Starlight on a little Viking adventure... Two of our immortals died, and then fully automatic, being the efficient monster that he is, whisked them away immediately to the butcher table. But on the plus side, it wasn't Scotty. That's the important part. Oh no. Well, there goes our nice relaxing time with Phoebe Chillax. Randy. And we've also got a Terra Cluster if we want it. We can get Dylan to join us. Dylan the Organ Farm, how very appropriate. He's our uh, fucking terrible. 40 goodwill with the Empire? I'll be honest. I think I'm alright. Hold on a second. The Skull of Ohm? I don't know if we'll be able to find this before we actually leave the map, but... This would be incredible. Holy shit, did they finally actually get married? Well, I was just preparing to cancel that, but... It's actually worked? Oh, <gasps> They've done it! And we've also got a Garanlan pod, which is what I was looking at during the marriage. I'm not sure I can be bothered with the Garanlan pod at this point. By the time we actually get it unlocked, form the bond with it, transform the dryads, chances are we're going to be ready to leave. Well, why not? We'll give it a go. And given that Starlight this time will be the one tending to the Granite Pod, not Jilp, and Starlight has... Oh, two seeds. Wow. Given that she has 15 plants, there's a higher chance of her actually doing something good with it. If we keep the other seed, we may be able to take it with us. People were saying that if we load items onto animals... Before we leave the map, we might be able to keep it. They might have also patched that out, but we'll see. In fact, we could just load it onto an elephant now. Well, I guess we'll give that to Starlight then. There you go. 50% quality does not give me much optimism. Ah, there you go. 4.2 hours a day to maintain... Let's just go... Let's go down to like here. 35%. And then we'll choose the Chloras again, I think. That... Did that ship just crush my elephant? How day. <laughs> and it smashed all of those grand and flowers, which, as I recall, have a pretty massive beauty value. Yep, well, thanks for that. And you know what? I think I'm going to ignore it. No. Nope. No, nope, this is too many. Hello? Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, hopefully the killbots will deal with these guys. Yeah, I, I, I know you like the axe, but 
I think the charge minigun's a bit more practical there, Starlight. We'll make her another. At the end of next level, we'll make her another. This time around, there's no point, because by the time we get to the reset... I mean, we're not even going to have a multi-analyzer this time around, unfortunately. Maybe we'll move over a little bit, because there's quite a lot of rams. Ah, oh, shit. Ah. Uh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Don't panic. Don't back down. Never back down. Double down. Oh, God. Okay, no, maybe we should have backed down. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, start running. I thought I'd give them a few more seconds to see if they were able to hold it down. They failed. Starlight, if you go down again, don't make me regret this. Because if you go down again, I am I might give up. That's another helmet she's had destroyed. What an absolute fucking fool. You're making us look a joke, Starlight. Overwhelmed by livestock. Unreal. She's all right, though. She's got a little bit peppered there. Uh, her nose was shattered. Well, that's kind of a cool look. Hey, caravan animals. Vat-grown spellipedes. What a bizarre pack animal. <laughs> what have you got? Crap. Complete crap. More crap. Good. Sorry, Scotty. It's nothing personal, but, uh... Just gotta get it done, haven't we? Satisfying. Oh, that's quite nice. Make sure we don't actually butcher this guy. I'll go ahead and suspend that. I want Scotty to be the, the person we leave behind. Scotty and Jessica. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, no. Not like this. Not like this. Oh, there we go. Welcome back, Scotty. Permanent organ farms and free executions. Oh, God, no. Please be somewhere where we don't have to worry about it. Okay. That I would consider somewhere we don't have to worry about it. At least not for a while. That is quite a lot, though, huh? Well, let's just hope we get some raiders spawning over there. They can deal with it for us. Wonder if we'd be allowed to sell the base with a giant insect infestation. Finally! Little shitty goblin. I'm going to call you Shittle. I do feel bad giving him a proper name from the names list, given that we're going to abandon him tomorrow anyway, right? Ah, look at that. I couldn't have asked for a better fashion model. You can stand at the front of the shop and convince the trade caravans they're missing out on something. It's plus six mood for that. Wow, that's actually pretty good. And there it is at long last. The return of your good friend, Fully Automatic. Now, I'm fairly certain because of the way this works, we will need two quick draw weapons, but we'll try it with his current weapon loadout and see if that does the trick. Ah, unless I use the control fire. Okay, well, in conclusion, we're pretty much there. All we need is a tiny little bit more wealth, and to be honest, a couple of raids from actual humans and not bloody insects will will probably push us over that last however much money it is we need now 60,000 roughly the research into our arco structure is finished starlight has more or less redeemed herself though she is on thin ice and almost certainly tomorrow we will be able to progress on to the final arco nexus base it's been a lot quicker than i expected but it's also been quite difficult well, basically trying to complete the game with five people, right? A thank you goes out to CS Grevo, High Caffeinated Gamer UK, The Aronidas, Arebs, Bobka, Facundo Vasquez, Juicy Jason, Ziggy117, Average Nobody, Buen Gun, Drunken Funkin, Caden Carter, Aromatic Fool, It's Steven, and Kyle for their support of the executive producer tiers over at Patreon. Thank you guys for making this series possible in the first place. A thank you as well to KG Evans, Lucius Martius, Revan, Frobear, Blue Chaos, Salakin J, Jackson P, Cameron, Laser Gaming, Jesus, Remdel, Hudeman, Vegan Slayer, Plondo, Warsheep, and Quivalar. 